So today I'm going to talk about cover pages. This is super duper easy. Go to insert cover page and you have so many to choose from. There are so many options and that's not the end of it. It doesn't have to look exactly how you pick it. So say we just picked this first one. Then you can sit here and say, well, I've already got my document title. So let me just cut that. So I can right click cut or I can control X and then right click and paste or control V. But when you right click and paste, you can decide how you want to paste it. You can paste it where you keep the formatting of where you copied it. You can merge the formatting, which I've never used that one. And you can just keep the text and keep the formatting. So we're going to keep the formatting so that it kind of matches, but we might want to change the size just a little bit. And sometimes there's a little hit and miss on how you want to change the size. So we can do that, or we can do back the way it was. So you can still change things within the um, document or within the cover page. And that's more of what I'm going to show you. So we can put anything that we want here, and then I don't really have a subtitle, so I could just take that out if I didn't want to put a subtitle in. So all of this is personally up to you. We could try to, um, what is it? We could try to move things down. I don't know if it would let me without extending it. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that and cut and paste. Um, I'm probably put, yeah, so what I learned tutorials. Now, you can also change background color. So we go into format, and here you've got lots of options too. You can change what color you want your background to be. So if we wanted a dark green here we could do that but then we're like oh that's kind of blah we can bubble it if we want give it just a little bit of body we don't have to but we can make that pop off the page we could give it a shadow now shadows with this dark of a color aren't really going to show up but you could give it a little shadow. It's hard to see, but it does pop it out a little more than it was. Like if I control Z, you can kind of see, not much, but it does still add something. You can add a glow, which again, oh yeah, you'll be able to see that. So maybe give it a green glow, yeah. So there's just, it shortens it and puts that glow around it. Um, you can rotate it, though for this purpose, it probably wouldn't look very good rotated. But you could do whatever you wanted there, and you can just design the way you want um, it to look. And then you can also do the same. Actually, let's just click on the box. You can do the same with this box. You can give it a different outline. You've got this down arrow with lots of options. Um, so we could give it that green outline and it's already got it there. You can change your text to a word art style. You can say, oh, I want something different. And so you can add a word art style and even if you want that as a base, but then you want to change it up a little bit, you can always go home and give it a color and mess around with it. I mean, the fun part with this is you can just, the sky's the limit, you can mess around with it however you want. You can change the color of this here, you can change the page background. Um, let's see, I believe you can still just do that here. So. We could give it a lighter green background. 
to kind of match what's going on there. And you can give this a darker green color. Sorry, back in the format. Okay, fill so that this would match what's up there. And you just play around until you have a cover page the way you like it. Now, if you're like, oh, I've been playing around with this and I don't like this cover page, you go back to insert and say, well, there were lots of other options. So then you can start over again and take a base and just change it up the way you want it. And that's about it for cover pages.